What's happening on YouTube is more motivation back up another video. We're reacting to my upper body pull day, specifically horizontal. So we did have, add a couple of vertical exercises, which will be my bicep ones, which you're gonna see. But the first exercise we're doing today is bent over rows. So single, single, and then double, basically. So what we're doing is a pyramid set all the way up to five with each side. Once we complete that, we rest for a short period and then do double bicep rows for 10 reps. We're going to do this four times, okay? The reason I did this is because we're doing it three more times after the set you're seeing. So we're doing it four times in total. It's a lot harder than it looks, okay? So if you're doing it, make sure to select a weight that will challenge you, but won't be so challenging to the point you're losing the benefits of doing it because you're, you're you have a shitty form okay just keep that in mind there's a difference between your form is failing because your workout is becoming more challenging as opposed to your form failing from the start of it which is not the whole point okay i know cheap rest will come as your muscles get more exhausted but you don't want to sacrifice your form entirely all right, that's that's my whole point. You want to push yourself, but you don't want to sacrifice your form entirely. So next up here, we have the leaning double bicep or leaning double rows. So this one you can also do with a machine if you have it at the gym. But if you don't, it's also optional to do it on the bench. Once you set the bench up to about a 50 degree angle, you can lean over, grab some dumbbells and roll towards your body. Okay, but this one here we did between 10 to 12 reps for four sets also. So this is the bicep exercise I'm talking about. So we have this one and another one coming up, which were the only verticals that we have, that we had in this workout. So here we picked dumbbells that are challenging enough to not have shady form, but also challenging enough to where I cannot feel my arms after. So we did about eight to ten reps there four sets and we superset it with our spider curves which you're going to see here with the cables so i'm grabbing the cable leaning over sitting in the squat position my elbows are basically on my knees and i'm curling towards my body okay so this is also going to be done for between 10 to 15 reps four sets so keep in mind the hammer curls and this one here is going to be supersetted so once we finish the first one, we're gonna come over to this one straight away and get to it. To be honest, folks, to get big arms, your arms are mainly your triceps, okay? And for a lot of your bicep exercises, if you do a lot of pull-ups, rows, things of that nature that hits the back, you're gonna be incorporating your biceps anyway. So you don't need too many things for your biceps. So here we have our reverse flies so we're doing it at a different angle because i want to have more definition in my back in a different way so i'm trying to try out different angles to see what happens so here we have inverted rows so this is an excellent exercise for people that don't know how to do a pull-up and it's also excellent to hit the horizontal plane okay so we did this for five pause reps and then after we complete five pause reps we just wrap out Okay, so basically sets to fail four separate times. Okay, highly effective exercise. You should definitely incorporate it. Inverted rows. You can do it uh, on the Smith machine. You can do it how I did it, but I don't recommend it. You can also do it with a TRX. Okay, if you have it. But that concludes the workout. Um, nothing more else to add. So that's how my back looks, but that's about it. Thank you so much for coming back to my YouTube channel. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, stay tuned for more videos. Let me know what things you want to see. Let me know what you're struggling with. If you don't let me know, I don't know what videos to make. So there's no point to communicate. Let me know and I'll make the videos to help you out. Like always, get better every day, optimize yourself. I'll see you in the next video. God bless you.